Hello there, boys and girls. How is you today? It is me, Professor Sneeperhausen, coming to you from still my room because, of course, I got hurted by the Mr. Wiz, the reverse flash, me. But I am still able to do experiments. Experiments, yes. I've been working on something that I think will help us defeat him. Was it for all? I call it Professor Snipperhausen Gooey, which is really, as you, as you children would say, slime. But, yes, I have made slime. Oh, you hear that? It is stuck. I know you children like slime. put it in my test tube to test it. Can you put it right here? <laughs> yeah. What do you do it? You see my slime? You see it, children? It's gooey and gooey. In slimy, but you know what, children? I have made this slime very, very special. Yes, I was doing some experiments, and I created a powder to make this slime work with magnets. Let's see. Oh yes, it worked. Really good look. Uh -oh. I don't know if you can see it very well, and the children. But this is magnetic slime. You guys know about magnets? Children? Do you? I bet you don't. But maybe you do. But magnets? It's a, a magnet, see? And I have made this slime, I put powder in it to make it react to the magnet. See this? Let's see if I can show you. See that? You see that how it is reacting to the magnet? Isn't it something? It almost looks like boogies coming out of your nose, but it's really because this slime has iron powder in it. I've put iron powder in the slime. Let's see if we can eat this piece up. Yeah, you see how it's reacting to that? I put iron powder in this slime. Now magnets are everywhere. Everywhere. Maybe you play with them in the refrigerator or, or whatever, however you want to do it. But magnets are really everywhere. And magnets, they make things stick. They make things stick, right? That's why we stick them on our refrigerator. And really, the Earth is one big magnet to the North and South Pole. But see, oh, see that how I put it in there and how the magnet reacted to that? It made a big dent in the slime. It went poof. And it was really poof. Poof. <laughs> Now it is a face. <laughs> anyway, yes, the Earth is one big magnet. The magnets are at the North Pole and the South Pole. And there's this magnetic force that controls magnets. And you can feel it. Like, you cannot feel it, but I can feel it. When I held the magnet over there, I can feel the pull. I can feel the magnetic force go in and kick in and attract the slime to it. Now, sometimes when you play with magnets, they push apart. That is called a repel. They repel. You know, they, they, they say that the magnets that are different 
attract because each magnet is different so some magnets are different so if it sticks to it if it attracts to it it means it's a different magnet see how this is different because it's pulling it in going into the slime there now if this was different though or if it was the same excuse me it would push it away push it away attract and repel play with your magnets at home children you understand what i'm talking about if you've done that or maybe you could start doing that but whatever the case may be when you play with your magnet you feel it and you feel the, the magnetic force come through so i'm just going to keep on here working on this making testing this out to see what we can use this for anything any possible way to stop the reverse flash so let me just put it back in the test tube there Your thing is slimy, you always have to wash your hands after using it. Ah. Let me just put it in the test tube so I continue to run tests on it to see if super fat bed men are impacted by magnets just like this slime is. And if they are, I may use this kind of slime to stop the reverse flash. Oh, I did. You can put the noise to let me read that. Okay. Put that back in my test tube so I can continue to do the scientific experiments on this here slime. Yeah. So let me just put it right there for now. But maybe you would like to make magnetic slimes yourself. If you do, watch this video and then after this video, Pastor Austin will come and talk about how we can relate this to our lives. Up the children, enjoy the video.